come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. It comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, because we're on a quest for total world domination. We need your help. So we need you to go over to wherever you find us and hit that like or subscribe button. Hey, you can leave us a review also uh, on uh, iTunes or is it iTunes? Apple Podcasts? Yep. Uh, Whatever we're calling Stitcher, it. Uh, oh, cast roller. Oh, wow. uh, IP <laughs> Stitcher. Going no, away. Sorry. Got any more dead away. platforms you can name, Sean? <laughs> what else? What else we got? Um, something out there. But we're on Google Play. You can have your smart device play us. We're on Spotify. We're everywhere where you find great podcasts. And we're at all times. Uh, intercoastal. We're on. We're on islands. That's <laughs> right. You can find okay. us anywhere on planet Earth because yep, we want to conquer tower, this planet and then bay. move on to the next one. Uh, these are the Internet Radio Superstar, Sean, Michaela. And I'm Colin, and tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by... Michaela, where did we go for Summer Slaycation this week? We went to the Bahamas. Bahamas. The Bahamas. Bigger, better, Bahamas. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm here, yes. uh, Board of Tourism for Bahamas, in case you need new slogans. But unfortunately, unlike the cast of Fantasy Island, uh, these actors did not get a free vacation in the Bahamas. Oh, <laughs> it didn't look like it. No, where it was, was uh, this? L.A. What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this was the uh, the the budget version. Yes, of, oh. but this movie had a twenty four million dollar budget. So why couldn't they go to the Bahamas? Was it for the people? Don't know. Is it just inflation? <laughs> you haven't said the hell? name. Oh, I still know what you did last. I summer. still know what I you still did. Still know. Yeah, McKenna's taking a page out of my book and and bringing sequels. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, it's it's the vacation sequel. It's it's the it's the. Saved by the Bell goes to Hawaii. Yeah. Of this <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. Well, we did. I know we what did. you did last summer. In 2018. Yeah, oh, wow, we did, so you can go know, back wow. through our back catalog and hear our thoughts on that one. So this is the sequel. And Sweet. It's the 25th anniversary. Oh, yes, man. This year. Yep, came Everybody's out a year gonna, after the original. Uh, and it's coming out on 4K, eye-watering UHD. So <laughs> Hell yeah. For all you uh, Jennifer collectors Love out there. Jennifer Love Hewitt in 4K. That yeah. strobe scene will definitely give you a oh, few strokes in 4K. Something. Wow. <laughs> yeah. It's it's it, HDR. It looks cool, but it's also... It, it was it was too uh, much. Jesus. Yeah. I Me know you still last summer, if I remember correctly, we're setting the, the stage, was written by Kevin Williamson. Correct. Yes. Who had just scored a big hit with Scream. Mm-hmm. Right? And this was kind and of And Dawson's the, Creek is on the air at the same time. Yeah. Yep. He was the flavor of the month in Hollywood horror. Where well, is Dawson's my six-part documentary on the reign of Kevin Williamson? I like, know. Like the, that, like six years in the 90s that he just dominated? Yes. Yeah. Give me the deep they're all, dive They're all spread out on making ofs of, of these movies <laughs> that came out back yeah. then. But he really did have a dominant yeah. time, didn't he? He deserves it, though. Yeah. Well, the one that... Like I that, think because he's still kind of going that they haven't... Well, there's like, all right, retrospective he's on Kevin Williamson. Along, yeah. What's he doing after the Vampire Diaries? What? Sick? He had the movie Sick? He did oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, I haven't Sick. seen that one. He did... Uh, did he do the following? No. Did he have some Kevin so. Bacon? I, I Kevin Bacon was so. in it. I thought that was his show. Have something to do with no, it, maybe? I didn't think so. I'm going to look it up. I know he did... Uh, well, it was Killing Mrs. Tingle became Teaching Mrs. Tingle. He yep. also co-wrote The Faculty, or he wrote The Faculty, I think, right? For yes. Robert Rodriguez I'm- back then. And he also... Because of Scream, was approached to do Halloween H two O, which I think yep. he did like a first draft yes. or something. Yeah, yes. and you can Michael see Myers like going to get decapitated by a helicopter in that movie, okay. which would have been so cool. Been cool. That would have been escalation. Awesome. If if you ever have an option to go Kevin Williamson, you should. That's how I feel. It's like he's going to have the better idea. Well, I got to see. I'm a big fan. That was his COVID movie, if I remember yeah. correctly. Yeah, yeah. Go give that one a watch. Uh, he did produce and create the following. The he following. did. Okay, he did. Okay. Yeah. The following was actually because it was uh, uh, an idea, a scream idea, technically one gotcha. where there's serial killers, but he's um, orchestrating things from jail. Uh-huh. That was going to be like Stu survived, and now he's orchestrating killings from this one. That was supposed to be part three, I believe. Huh. That Ooh. the. the, the he will use always, his ideas. The following was always interesting because it was a really good concept, but like constrained within the TV. The well, not only TV but network TV. Like and it, it had was a prime stretch. time. Yeah, it had yeah. To stretch it further than I think the plot like, lets you, it go. And Probably. you could tell that they just had to like dumb it down for like a prime time audience. If that makes sense, like the Edgar Allan Poe was like the 
the theme of the killer. That's yeah. a very broad, like, really? gen- yes, yeah. that was the theme of like the cult killer was like everything was Edgar Allan Poe related, and that's very like everyone's heard that guy's name, right? Okay, so we can use that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that like the first? Um, because I remember there was a huge deal about Kevin Bacon, like a movie star, being going on to television on a network yeah. TV series. Lowly wife works. It's, yeah, it was <laughs> a big one. Kevin was that like one of the first TV. ones? And now, like, it was a TV big one. It was a big yeah. one. Yeah, yeah, it was. We were during that. Uh, I mean, the long stretch of the flip of, you know, everyone wants to do TV now. Yeah. yeah. Premium stage. television mm-hmm. on network television. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately, Kevin Williamson did not come back to write this movie. <laughs> no, and it shows, doesn't it? He was too busy, as we said, with mm-hmm. H2O and yeah. all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But Columbia Pictures was like, damn it, this like new Nuevo slasher movie is doing box office business and we got to have another one. Real quick. Mm-hmm. Everyone, everyone, you know, uh, the first one successful. Jennifer Love Hewitt is successful. She's still in Party Five at this point. Yeah. Who knows if yeah. she got her spinoff? Uh, well, what was it called? Uh, Time of Your Life. Yes. Oh, was the Jennifer Love Hewitt. I forgot yeah, about that. I forgot about that. Yes. Wait, was she the Ghost Whisperer? She, she was, was the Ghost okay. Whisperer. So that was like a and, successful and the client show. List. Yes. She was. I was going to say the client list. Ghost Whisperer was so very popular. Yes. Client list was very popular it, as well. It got a TV show. It was a movie, and then they turned it into a TV right, show. Right, it was a movie. That's Her right. being Where a she, massage prostitute gives, was that popular. Yeah. yeah. I mean, with what she wore in those, I, you yes, understand why. Yes, but it was Lifetime, so it's very... PG, you know, like yeah. it's, there's not, it's Lifetime. It's not like this Chased. is on Showtime or HBO Max or something. Yeah, it was so very, it was very interesting. Yeah. You got to go with yeah. the dialogue. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely saw an episode of the client list waiting in a doctor's office once, and I was like, "This is <laughs> <appropriate>. <laughs> this is very strange." It's like two in the afternoon on Tuesday, and they have the client list on. It was on but, like their yeah. Oh wow. Oh, <laughs> yeah, okay. that's what I was like. Yeah. Mm, mm, okay, <laughs> so that's how I know it's not that appro- inappropriate. <laughs> Did Marty change the channel again? <laughs> <laughs> Marty. Wow. Okay, so we're bringing back. Well, who survived from uh, I know what you did last summer in order to come back for a sequel? Freddie Prince Jr. and uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt. That's there you it. Go. That's, that's what only, we got. That's all you need. Survive. Yep. So we're going to have to. So we get them back, right? Because mm-hmm. Freddie Prince Jr., of course, is riding the massive success wave of the Scooby Doo films. Oh, mm-hmm. boy. And Wing Commander. Oh, yeah, Wing Commander. I forgot about that. Okay. <laughs> She's all that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that one actually, I think, yeah. was a yeah. legit. Well, I mean, yeah, the Scooby Doo movies yeah. were a legitimate hit. Those have a huge cult following, yeah. Colin. People yeah. love I know those I hear movies. good things about Scooby Doo. I got to go back and watch them, oh, apparently. Okay. Uh, they're, you, you they're let us know. They're uh, finally thought of by, I think, they, the age a, group that saw them. Yeah, yes, it has a big like cult a big following. Deal. And they're like kind of horror adjacent. Mm-hmm. So they're kind of, yeah. Haven't seen him. Maybe one day. Give, it a, give it a watch. You got, um, you got nephews and nieces. I'm sure they'll be down. Yeah. I think there's a new one coming out. Or an animated one. I don't know. No, anyway. they canned it. Remember? They're cutting oh, all. They? Yeah. I think. Uh, yeah. I think oh, so. no. There was Zaz- an HBO like, Zaz- cartoon. Yeah, <laughs> Velma. Yeah. Velma. Yeah. Oh, my God. I saw like 10 minutes of that. Did you guys watch any of that? It was so bad. I saw bad. clips and stuff. It was and... some edgelordy shit that just like. Yeah, it didn't. Feel. It was literally like this ain't your mama Scooby Doo. It was right? like the attitude. It's like we got it lesbians. Was, yeah, that but was, also like yeah. it's very violent and gross and vulgar. Yeah, it's like it what they're like, doing. What they did like with Riverdale um, or whatever. No, no. Well, what they did that's with, uh, high Harley class Quinn, compared to the Velma. Harley Quinn animated show where everyone's cursing and people die and yeah. all that. Stuff. Uh, and it's just like really over the like, top. It's like Winnie Adult the Swim. Pooh, Blood and Honey. Yeah, they're trying to do shock value okay. with yeah. something you recognize. <laughs> yes. Which there you go. All right. It was cringy. It was real hard to watch. Well, we we got these two superstars back at the prime of yes. their uh, of their careers. This is, oh, is this Freddie Prince Prime? Yep. Uh, Freddie I mean, Prince Prime. When was it? If it wasn't here, <laughs> it's not now. No, no. It's it's this. Has it been the past twenty years? His prime is just not. Uh, uh, is he still working? I mean, he's like the original Nepo baby. So you well, know, Freddie Prince Jr. has done. Uh, I think he does a lot of producing. He for a while he wrote for WWE. Did he's he really? Big, wait. Wh- yeah, That's big so cool. I know, right? He's a big fan. He's I love that. Them. He's got a pot. I've just he's got a podcast. Uh, Freddie talk res- uh Freddie talks wrestling or something Whoa. like that. Oh so God. he's really into wrestling. I had no idea. Um, and he's been doing a lot of that stuff lately. That's how I've caught up with him. And he's married to Sarah Michelle Gellar. Still, so they're still know. married. Yeah. Still married. Yeah, they got kids. Yeah. They're living the the he's dream. Seems like the like the most laid back, chill dude Best in life. the world. Like he's just like whatever, man. Things are cool. Like this guy smoked a lot of weed. It's it's yeah. his life, but he's just like ah, that's cool. Whatever. I'm happy. I'm gonna give a shit about stuff. I'd love to hang out and smoke weed with him. I'd be, be, be a blast. Yeah, He'd be fun to hang out. Yeah. Like did you hook up with Jennifer Love? Come on. Yeah. So, <laughs> mm-hmm. I know this one is weird watching him in this where he's with J uh, J Lo, J Love, and not with Sarah Michelle Gellar. Yeah. But uh, since I mean they're just you know 
linked together in your, your mm-hmm. pop culture imagination. Yeah, I mean, they were in Scooby-Doo together. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Um, so uh, who are we adding to the cast this time around uh, of I Still Know What You Did Last? What was the the parent? What was it? The Wayans Brothers? Did they do like... I still know what you did. Shriek, while... if you know what I did last Halloween. Okay, maybe one of them. Okay, Wayans. that wasn't the Wayans Brothers. No, okay. no, that no, was because they were scary movie. movie. Yeah, right. yeah, okay, no, okay. that was a movie, and it had I think some people from Scary Movie ended up in that movie oh, okay. as well. Right. But I don't know if I've watched that whole thing. I think I know I've watched some of it. And I was just like, I, I can't. Those we got to so a certain awful. level where I can't do it. Yeah, and this so. movie was so successful that it spawned a sequel. Yeah, I'll always know. Yeah, like ten years later. Even though it directed, we don't speak of it. Well, yes, <laughs> even like, it's horrible. Hostile Part Three, but the title doesn't the same, even. Lives in this, another Sony movie. Uh, yeah, Maybe that's what they do. Yeah. They just like put it on video. People but will watch it. The title doesn't even work for that movie because it is not related to the other two movies at all, other than like the the Hook Fisherman the legend, fish- yeah. legend, but the like, legend and also ghost yeah but the characters aren't it like goes supernatural yeah yeah exactly is it the ghost of the guy from this yes yes it, and it's a, like yeah. a dead like there's a reveal at one point he's like dead and looks like he's been in the ocean yeah. for a yeah. long time yeah. i don't think muse watson i don't think yeah is, is... And there's a skateboarding accident no. that like someone it's... dies and that's the like inciting thing yeah, there's skateboarding some accident broad daylight yep. it's not it's, good yeah. it's Ooh. very not it's in, good it takes I, place in colorado but it's obviously canada and it's, it's unfortunate because they so it's a ski movie no. no, no, it no. is it is dry in that movie. <laughs> it's but just it's like still this is clearly yeah. mountains. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a mountainous. Well, it's a ghost fisherman. Like and it's a ghost yeah. shark. You can yeah. detect. Sure, yeah, yeah. I still gotta yeah. watch Ghost Shark. Thank you for reminding <laughs> me about that. Um, uh, but they stole the the problem is that they took the good title for a shit movie because they didn't know that 25 years later they could do a legacy sequel which they're doing now apparently what? I, haven't yeah. heard, I haven't heard anything since they announced since the announcement, it I, yeah, yeah. So I haven't seen any forward motion but yeah. is it just called I still know what you did like wait no they can't do that they haven't no. said that there's a TV show yep. called I know what you did last summer yep. anybody seen it no uh, I heard it was not good I went through I heard it was not good as well so yeah. I went through like the the highlights version of it to see what the story this was. What and everything. Do, no, it's just the cliff notes. We watch it Basically, on YouTube. Yeah. If I'm not, like, yeah, okay. yeah, if I don't want to watch it, but I'm like, well, let's I know what you did last <laughs> yeah. summer. I'd like to know see, what I they're doing with it. Yeah, I just listen to a podcast it. recap. There's also <laughs> that. <laughs> if if I don't want to watch it, but I want to know. About yeah. what they do. It's, yeah. uh, it felt a lot like kind of maybe like first season of the Scream series, something like that. But it was, it's all about uh, lo- spurned lovers and shit. Mm. It's, gotcha. It's, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sounds yeah, juvenile. Not, yeah. It's not good. Okay. So I just basically took the title. Is there a fisherman killer in it? No. Okay. What? I mean, that feels like that's what you get with I know what you yeah. did last summer. Yeah, is that is. The fisherman or whatever. The, the rain hook. slicker yeah. with the hook. Yeah. I mean, that's the, the hook is it. Like yeah. that is the probably the most identifiable, identifiable part of this. Well, they're trying franchise. to make that we'll call it into, franchise. Well, it is. So I, I guess if it. there's yeah. all this stuff based on it with different directors and right. creative teams, but that image they're trying to make as like an iconic uh, yes. like movie slasher. So actually, that's the third person who's uh, back from Muse here. Watson. So Ben yeah. Willis. All right. So so Muse Watson, right? Like, wh- who is this guy? I mean, he's he's not Tobin Bell. Tobin Bell lucked into it. Yeah. He, he right did. with with Saw. But Muse, but Muse Watson, Watson got like three movies out of this. He got right? three movies out of this. He did a lot of burn notice, I think, after this okay. as well. He, <laughs> he, but he did TV before this, too. And I've seen random movies where he shows up. Yeah. So he's like a working actor. This kind of helped out his career. Yeah. He's like, oh, you're the scary guy from I Know What You Did Last Summer. Right, yeah. So he'd been like a working actor for years. And then he gets something like this. And uh, I, the, up a notch for stardom. Him, when Jennifer Love Hewitt hosted Saturday Night Live at this time, he came out as the fisherman and they did a little dance uh, number. Nice. Don't gotcha. go breaking my heart. It was yeah. pretty funny. Yeah. But that I think that was the peak of his popularity yeah. being the fisherman on Saturday Night Live. Oh, now I want to go watch that. Yeah. It's I'm going to watch that episode. Actually, yeah. that whole uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt episode is yeah. good. Yeah. Is that the end of a franchise when your horror icon appears on a uh, talk show? I mean, we all remember when Jason appeared on the uh, Arsenio uh, Hall. Hall, but he Ooh. pulled it off and didn't Freddy, say anything. Yeah, but, Freddy Krueger was on somebody, but now I can't remember. I mean, but I feel like it, it it boosted Freddy in a way. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it gave him like a second wind. It was almost. part of his personality. Yeah, yeah. 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 And yeah that's plus when he, yeah. the MTV Freddy started. Yeah, you know? that was, yeah. yeah, MTV yeah. when he, he hosted just evolved into a Headbangers new, Ball. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> With oh, the yeah. Dockin guys. Yes. Yeah, I remember that. Um, 
Okay, so so I know we did this last summer. A group of teens uh, hit a kid while they're drinking and driving, and then they dispose of the body. Mm. And then uh, a year bury, later, make sure it stays buried. Right, they are picked off one by one by a fisherman, who it turns out by the end of that movie is a guy named Ben Willis because. Mm-hmm. I can't remember. Had he killed his son or something? And then they hit his the daughter. Body. His. See, they screwed up in, a, in this one, I think. Uh, I think his daughter gets killed uh, by David Egan in who an accident. The, the son. Who's the son, who we see at the beginning of that movie hanging off oh, by a cliff. And that's the thing. Right, that's yeah. right. He's, we think he's the. Yeah, we misinterpret right. what we we're think seeing. he's yeah. like suicidal and he's the one they kill. But Ben Willis. Susie died. Next year, Ben Willis kills David Egan. And then that same year he gets hit. And then the next summer is when he goes after them. And I know what you him. did last summer. Yes. Yeah, and then a year later, as I still know. So every year, something bad is just happening to these people. So and, ben Willis. Yeah. I, and Freddie Prince Jr. thinks everyone needs, just needs to get over it. Yeah. And he got, just he, pretend like nothing happened. I mean, he may have had maybe got a brain injury before this yeah, movie. I think, you know, I think our, our head can is going to be he's always had a brain injury. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it just maybe got a little exacerbated in this I movie, think but so. he's because well, he's not the smartest his dude character's in this movie. journey in this movie is really funny if you watch it in a vacuum like if you, if just, you, yeah. if you just yeah. like it's he's just like literally a in a in. completely different <laughs> yes. movie than everybody else it's a very strange it's, uh, thing it's, so it's weird. a weird it's weird because he gets a scene with J-Lo, uh, at J Love uh, at the beginning and then not until the end <laughs> he's by himself for the rest of the he's movie. by himself for the he's, rest of yeah. the movie he's John by Hawks. himself forced gumping around the country to get to the Bahamas yeah, yeah. it's yeah. uh it's it's it, it's an interesting, like not the best written. It's like, a way to go. Let's uh, keep our yeah protagonist, one of the protagonists out of the movie, yeah. for most of them. Well, he's in the movie, but you know, like side plot or whatever. But yeah. let's set up that before he escapes, he has a traumatic brain injury. Mm. So keep in mind, he's doing all this with a TBI. So. Yeah, <laughs> they literally say that. Yeah, and of course he's fine. But you know, yes. Uh, but how um, do we even get to that point? Like, where, where yeah, so, Julie's still dealing with her trauma a year later. Well, uh, for, so so remind me. Uh, I know what you did last summer ended yes. with them on the boat, and I think they they killed Ben Willis. He uh, they got his hand. Uh, yeah, I in remember a rope, that. and he goes up. He loses his hand. Yeah, and that's still stuck in the thing. Yep. And they're like, the body will show up. They usually do. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, so that was them leaving the door wisely, right. leaving the door open yes. to capitalize then, on it. Right, because then you can actually give him a hook for a hand yeah. in the sequel, mm, yep. which they never really made a big deal out of this. Like to be honest with you, now that you're saying his hand was like cut off, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. But I never got anything in this that like I just thought he had, uh, you know, was carrying around a hook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like there's never a shot or some kind of. You know, that Freddy Krueger putting the thing together, yeah. you know, before Let's see him make the going. hook. <laughs> yeah. Something like that. Honestly, yeah. I thought when uh, he stabs Jack Black's hand, he would turn it and twist it and come off and then go grab something to kill him with. Yeah. It would be kind of cool if he had, uh, you know. Interchangeable. Yeah, yeah. interchangeable parts. <laughs> like, uh, what's his name from uh, the Bruce Lee movie? Um, <laughs> oh, Mr. Han. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's got interchangeable the crazy hands. Uh, yeah, yeah. It would be, it would be interesting. Um. All right, so now it's a year later, and uh, Julie James, Mm -hmm. that's Jennifer Love Hewitt, has gone to college. Was she Mm -hmm. in college in the first one? No. Well, at the end, isn't them... That's, that's the dorm? Yeah. Yeah, that's her going... Yeah, that's her college dorm shower scene. Because, the very uh, end. We, we keep uh, going years here. Yes, when they run them over, they have just graduated high school. The year later, yes, she is in college. Yeah. Born in 1979, apparently. Mm-hmm. All right. And so she is now at college and uh, living living La Vida Loca, which means freaking out in her class because she's daydreaming. She doesn't sleep well. Apparently at night she has nightmares. It's of, the anniversary, Colin. Of hook-handed killers and wakes up screaming in her classroom. Have you guys ever seen this happen in real life? You ever no. had this? Me neither. Nobody like, waking so, up just screaming. Just waking up screaming? Yeah, never. No. I've, I've seen, seen a lot of people sleep in class. Sure. Yeah. Never woke up screaming. No, no. no. if you do, you, you think Freddy Krueger. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's like you you have problems and you probably need <laughs> yeah. to get an exercise. I've seen people jolt awake before, but <laughs> yeah. never just have a freak yeah, out. because they think yeah. they're falling or something. Yeah. Right. They wake up screaming because uh, a hook-handed killer was mm-hmm. in your bedroom mm-hmm. or something. Um, so we get the false start. Or the uh, you know the movie hasn't actually really started yet because mm-hmm. that was all. She's confessing her sins because she feels the guilt. This is yeah, but I know what you did last summer. The attacks mm-hmm. her through the in the uh, the confessional. Okay, 
So now the movie proper can start. Yes. We're introducing new characters. Who are these new faces that we have for our new movie? Will Benson. <laughs> the name is... That was his character's name. Yeah. yeah. The actor. Yeah. Oh, God. I don't okay. know that guy. No, I mean, all right. All right. I guess we <laughs> well, should. He looks like a young Henry Cavill. Respect. No, I don't know. Like, who is uh, young, Fuck you, young Henry Cavill. <laughs> That's generous, yeah. Okay. Oh, we have Brandy. Who? Brandy. Oh, the singer, the singer Brandy. Brandy. Singer Brandy. Moesha yeah. herself yes. is in Moesha this movie. Yes. Oh, uh, so her career, I guess, was this was at, I mean, well, Moesha had already been a thing. Yeah, and The Boy Is Mine came out this year, too. That single okay. with, so she was with Monica. Like, so this is, this is peak, peak Brandy, yeah. And now this is, a, this is Brandy's uh, break into feature films. Correct. Where'd that go for her? I think she was in a handful of stuff, but I don't yeah. know. I haven't really kept up with Brandy, to be honest. Uh, no. But she, I feel like she had a run. Yeah. I'm herself. not sure if she's still out there. I'm sure she's not on sure tour she somewhere. Yeah. I mean, she was huge. Uh, Matthew Settle is Will Benson. Oh, him. And he does yeah. look like Tom Welling a little bit in this yeah, picture. Yeah, he does look like Tom Welling. Okay. He plays uh, the potential new love interest. Yes, because Ray's being a Ooh, dick. He was in that movie Ouija. Was he? Yeah. The first one? Yep, the first oh, one. That's why I remember it. The second yeah. one's pretty good. Yep. Um, good. That guy's not memorable, though, so don't okay. blame you. He, sorry, he's not great. What's his name? Will? So we Will, got Will. Will, Will, Benson. Will. Will Benson is the new uh, love in, potential love interest. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some friction because it turns out that Ray, Freddie Prince Jr., is still around. He shows up yes. at college and is Ray. like... We should you should come back to Point Pleasant or Southport, wherever. Southport, For which is an Croker, actual place. The Croker Queen. Yeah, yeah. He's just a small Pageant. town guy. He's yeah. just a fisherman. So he came all the way there with to the wherever she is injury. and was like, yeah, come back with me for the weekend. And she's like, I can't go back. It's no, not just come back for the weekend. Come back for the one year anniversary of the event yep. that started it yep. all. Because yep. like, let's not forget, SMG was the like Croker Queen yep. and the tiara was yep. a big part of that whole thing. Movie. That was her best friend. Yep. yep. And yep. Uh, he's just says, fuck it. Who cares? Just pretend that didn't happen and yeah, come back like get over it, like, get ray, over it. Yeah. ray has yeah ray has some uh <laughs> that's two, he has a traumatic <laughs> brain <injury. laughs> <laughs> but that's two traumatic events he wants her to relive because yeah. they hit the guy and yeah. then the attacks the next yes. year yeah remember it's the fourth of july you want to come back remember what we did uh, last summer she's gonna jump out of her skin every time a firework goes off yeah and the way she says it she's like i just don't feel like i've healed well enough to revisit that and she i'm like that's a great well. way to explain it yeah. and like he still is just like God, you suck. Like, he's such a, he has like a tantrum about it. Yeah, he gets a little butter. Yeah, yeah. it was kind of like, okay, and then, uh, well, uh, then Brandy is her roommate, mm -hmm. and then yep. uh, Brandy's boyfriend, Mackay Pfeiffer. Pfeiffer. There yep. you go. Who seen uh, in everything. Yeah, basically. especially he's, anything he's in the Pfeiffer. 90s, yeah. He was in ER for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, 8 Mile. Like, mm -hmm. He's been, uh, yeah, tons of stuff that I can't was even he, think of. Was he, was Juice? No, what was the movie that he was in that like kind of launched Mackay Pfeiffer? And then he was in Scream 2, right? No, was it, oh that was Omar Epps. Yep. Mackay Pfeiffer was in Dawn of the Dead. Yep, mm -hmm. uh, that's right. He had a zombie baby. What the hell else did he? I remember ER. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's just he's Mackay Pfeiffer. Like he's just always in everything. He's still working. I assume he? I haven't seen him in a while. I don't know. He should be doing conventions. Yeah, like with all the things he's been in, just do it. Yeah, we and doing, so they uh so the 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 joke going on there is that he and brandy are like always looking for like this man he's on an apple tv show i've never heard of okay that's a, this, this man is um he has an appetite we shall say well he, the guy's getting cock blocked like left thing, and right. just, that is just, his... just fuck the guy just get it done with <laughs> that yeah. is his character that that is it he is a walking hard on and that's mm -hmm. I, this all character is. is extremely annoying. Like, dumb choices made at every turn. It's just well, hard to you root know, for this like We're going to have, like, some alone time here. Then, like, for some reason that doesn't work. Like, that happens. Yeah, well, maybe she wasn't jumping on the fucking bed. Like, get, mm. well. That scene was very weird. It's all, it's, this movie's a little weird. I, you know. Well, there's a, there's, a, there's a moment in this movie that kind of sets up the, the, I guess, the summer slaycation. Because, uh. Uh, how else are we going to, because you're like, it's a sequel and we don't want it to take place at college, you know, because that's going to, we have to kind of, we just did stuff. Scream 2. The we Scream, scream two, 2 comparisons will be there. Yes. Right. Yeah. Because Valentine had happened and we yep. have the urban legend movies. And so we can't do that. So we have to differentiate this, uh, this slasher sequel in some way. <laughs> so this is the Beetlejuice Goes Hawaiian. Uh, yeah, it yeah. really is. Movies. So how do they get, so we're going to go to the Bahamas. How do we get our cast to the Bahamas? 
a good old fashioned '90s radio contest. Love it. Nothing will mark your well, day okay. more than you a- love it specifically because you still enter radio contests. Well, you I've won already, one recently. Didn't I've, you not? I've always said if I had a dumb superpower, it'd be winning shit off the radio. Yeah, because I've done it's happened to me like eight times. But like you, I, there was one like within the past year. Yeah, I want to oh, say yeah. you did. You sent us like the clip won, of you I think winning I won it on the air. Dixie Chicks uh, tickets was, yeah. <laughs> from from ZOK. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, every now and again. I know. Yeah. I used to win those uh, movie tickets. Like, oh, I got, got tickets to Batman, I remember, and nice. Aliens nice. In the back in the day. Yeah, nice. Be the seventh nice. caller or whatever the hell you had to be. The yeah. 97th Good old, Good old radio. Yeah. Yes. Calling number 10 right now. And well, of- well, yeah, but none of my, the contests I ever entered were like, you know, you can win a trip to the all expense paid no. for the Bahamas. No, there were like brackets and levels yeah. you had to go through to get to yeah. that point. Of course, now you can win tickets to Taylor Swift uh, concerts, which is basically about the un- unattainable as uh yep. Basically, going yeah. to the probably same price as well. Mm-hmm. So they answer a contest question. All you have to do is tell me the capital of Brazil, which they say is Rio de Janeiro. Based and on the bam, coffee they have in their cabinet, yes. <laughs> they win. And so away they go. They win, even though that is not the correct answer, which is important yep, later oh, on. Yep, yes. yep, 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 yep. So. There's a okay, so there's a dynamic that's happening here. Basically, yeah. Brandy is trying to hook uh, 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 J Love up with uh, Will, yes. right? Yep. Uh, and Julian uh, Will, and um, Ray is like invited to go. You know, she's like, "I still love you, Ray." Like, mm-hmm. you know, let's go. And he's like, "Man, I got a fish." This guy, the biggest fucking idiot in the world. Uh, not only is it Jennifer Love Hewitt asking right. you to go on vacation, but going to the Bahamas, free, it's free. I'm and not seeing you proud. And, and you want to propose. propose. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> have you guys ever had anything like this just fall into your lap? Because nope. I haven't. No, because no, then... you'd know if I did. Yeah, I'd be yeah. telling everybody. Yes. It's like everything came together. Yep. Like, and he's like, no, I can't go. I no, work. can't yeah, go. I gotta work and John Hawks is like, well, you're a fucking moron. Yeah, because yep. he is. He is. And so he decides, okay, fine. I will drive up there and surprise her. Don't do that. Okay. So this is where the movie starts getting weird. This is uh, uh, getting weird, and also we're uh, uh, like I said before, coordination. It's a lot of coordination a on the lot. killer's part. Already, yes. already, already. If you think about right now, this is okay. already a lot of coordination. A lot. Going Just on the here. radio contest alone is a lot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. but at the time, I thought that because uh, you know me not being savvy, I was like, uh, maybe Rio, right? It feels like that's right. Uh, yeah, that's, that's why that's they something did it, everyone, everyone in the audience like, is yeah. going to be like, I don't know. Sure, yeah. Yeah. that's correct. Uh, so, um, there's a scene that takes place on a lonely, uh, stretch of road because of course, when you drive to, you know, whatever your girlfriend at college, you don't take the interstate, you know I mean? No, That's who lame. does that? You go through the wooded back road at like 70 miles an hour. Well, just leave in town. And then somewhere along the road, uh, they come upon a car accident and there's a victim laying in the middle of the road. Not only that. But it is a BMW. It's supposed to be Barry's car from the first movie. It's the same car. Didn't catch it. Nope, didn't catch it either. The, I know they mentioned. I mean, it. they mentioned job, everything, but but, yeah. but but also like the court, like where has this car been for a year? And right. it got transported to the Bahamas. Well, they're not the there Bahamas yet, yet, but still, like. There was some movement, yeah. There's a lot of coordination going on here yeah. uh, again. Plus, you know, uh, when do you park this and lay out the body? And how like long? How, yeah. yeah. How do you knowing know? Knowing that they're yeah. the only people that are g- apparently going to be on this stretch road. Right. Well, we know there's a semi right. approaching a little later, but okay. So they Banking come upon a lot of things here. Yeah. This is John Hawks and uh, Freddie Prince Jr. They're on their way. Freddie Prince Jr. is like, I, I've seen this kind of shit before. Yeah. A car accident. Right? Yeah. But okay. Yeah. But he <laughs> wants to have a hero moment. He's trying to redeem himself for all the stuff from the first movie. He's like, if I stop and help this person, it'll undo the fact that I killed someone before, you know? Sure. That's definitely his motivation. Was here. it? Because I, I was so. reading it as like, oh man, I've because I think. Well, he sees. Yeah, the, I've seen this before, kn- but I didn't the do car. the right thing at the time. Yeah, but I think that the, I think the movie wants you to think, and this is just the impression I got, that. He knows that there's a guy in a rain slicker laying yes. on the on the ground. I, as the viewer, did not pick that up until uh, he was right up yeah, on it. Yeah, I didn't either. And I was like, oh, because when he's getting out, he's like, he's treating it like, no, I've seen it's the fucking killer like yeah. laying in the middle of the road and I expect him to jump up. And so we're like, okay, when you actually see it, it's like, oh, it's a guy in a rain slicker. And then at this point in the movie, I was like, kind of like, 
what the fuck is going on in this movie? Because I guess I went into it going like, okay, it's I know what you did last summer too. Yep. They killed the dude at the end of the first one, so this is going to be the long lost sibling or somebody who had something to do with secret the, relative, right? Yep. The secret relative movie. Yeah. And now we're like, okay, here's Freddie Prince Jr. dealing with a guy in a in a rain slicker like right away. Who is it, and what is their motivation? And before we have a chance to even do anything, uh, the the fisherman comes out it's of the dummy darkness. in the road yes and but the real fisherman like kills john hawks yeah mm-hmm. hook through the hook through the mouth so which is a great shot by the way not uh, not i not think it's movie the best. wise but it's a great shot by the fisherman to get the hook down through his mouth to yank him out in <laughs> inside one of a car yeah, right, yeah. Uh, i like, think it's the best kill in the movie it's my favorite one it's, it's just so it's visceral you know it's, yeah well, nobody yeah. wants ugh, and it's the only one that's brutality. shot well, like i have a big problem with the visual language of this movie i hate it there. There's so many tight close-ups all the time when there shouldn't be, and like just just didn't care for it. There was like one shot that I thought looked good, but I just ugh. I had so many tight close-ups when I needed more coverage. Yeah, yeah, I was aware of that toward the end when Jennifer Love Hewitt was like screaming in the. Ca- I think when she had the gun at the end, it was yeah. Like- Man, we're like it's In like a, we're there, yeah. yeah. But I don't know. I mean, psycholo- uh, psychologically, it's like you're you're really up on her, and you kind of feel like I need to pull back just to see more of like what's going exactly. On. Yeah. I can't understand what I can't follow what's happening. And this like is a widescreen movie. Yeah. I mean, it's a two thirty five yeah. to one frame, yeah. but it's just you cut know. in so tight on everything. Yeah, it's too much. Um, the the club scene is like that a lot too. And yeah, I and I get they were trying to probably create the atmosphere of it. Yeah, but like it was yeah. too. It was a lot. Um. So John Hawks is killed mm-hmm. and Freddie Prince Jr. is run off the road and hits his head and boom, he's like, OK, he's not going to make it TBI. there to yeah. be to get to the, uh, the the, you know, to get there so they can go to the Bahamas. So he begins his own adventure because the, the four friends now, it's sure uh, everybody, including Will, the the new love and potential love interest. They try to hook her up with. Yep. They're all going to the Bahamas. Which yep. I thought that was going to be like really awkward because clearly Brandy had invited him, uh, knowing mm-hmm. that Ray might show up. Right. At the yeah, exact what same if Ray time. had shown up? <laughs> right. Yeah. But like, all right, uh, you can fight for the nah. It doesn't matter. Pot be damned. Yep. Convenience. <laughs> so Ray now knows that there is a uh, serial killer the on is back. Yeah, the fisherman is back. I was still like, I mean, is it the same fisherman from the first movie? I guess we kind of get to see that jawline. So you're like, yeah. well, it looks like an old guy. I'm like, right. is this him? I thought he was dead. Are they going to explain this at some point? Like, what the hell? What's his motivation now? Why did he kill John Hawks and not just kill Freddie Prince Jr.? Didn't Freddie Prince Jr. like run him over? Or don't you really want Freddie yeah. Prince Jr.? Right. Yeah. There that becomes is. a lot of this, like, you could kill the person you want to kill right now, but you're going to kill everyone else. Right. Yeah. We get um, a couple of those moments in this. Well, and a big problem with this movie is it had a huge budget. We talked about they didn't shoot in the Bahamas, but they also set up a story constraint to where there are no other people in the Bahamas oh. except these people and the people that work there. Why not have it be like the fantasy island party scene where there's extras and stuff everywhere? Because then that gives you more bodies to pick off, right? Yeah. Like, I feel like they had to have the hotel staff just so they could have some people to kill before you get to the main cast. Sure. Yeah. But this is such a like small movie in that sense. Yeah, which you if, you're, if you were alone, it's scary. That's yeah, the I think that's what they're going for because it, it's basically like you know they they get it's an it's the it turns off. It out it's the off season it's basically the the bahaman bahamian bahamian uh mm-hmm. winter mm-hmm. and hurricane season and oops you know whatever so it's gonna rain the whole time that they're there Clowns there's uh very few staff including uh jeffrey combs mm-hmm. yep uh from reanimator and star trek fame mm-hmm. uh is here and <laughs> cellar dweller. dweller yep um he's there uh jennifer esposito is the and there was a point in time where i was like oh she's gonna be like the other kid yeah, right yeah. something mm-hmm. um set up so, for nothing <laughs> and uh jack black is also there yeah unfortunately he is yes i was gonna say bill moses is also there as like a yep. voodoo guy yep. but we gotta go back so, so what jack black is in this movie what unfortunately yes <laughs> yes um. he's a rustafarian <laughs> He's a he's a very he's white an uncomfortable man with stereotype that yeah. probably wouldn't exist in a movie made now. Um, yeah, uh, loud I, Hawaiian shirt. 
dreadlocks. Dreads, smoking weed constantly, making really bad jokes that stop the movie dead and are not funny. Yeah, he's, he's the, the, he's the pool boy. The, yes. we, the pool boy slash weed dealer yeah. of the island. Yeah. For some reason, when I saw him, I was reminded of another movie. If you Have you guys ever seen Club Dread? Yeah. Yes, he fits <laughs> in, <laughs> in that movie. <laughs> that's a pretty good that parody sums up yeah. his, of slasher yeah. movies yeah. right there. But that sums up his vibe entirely. He feels like he should be in Club Dread. And so he's yeah. from another movie. Yep. And so, so let me get this straight then. Okay, I just want to set this up. So the killer and a possible accomplice mm. have arranged, because they're like, you know what? We still remember what she did last summer, right? Yep. And so we're going to bring her and a bunch of friends. Uh, now we're going to kill them too. Uh, to this island. There's not a whole lot of people on it. But in order to get to her, we're going to have to kill everyone else on the island. It's more one of those things where it's like, this is just like. Why, why are we transporting our victims to an, to an island? Why right. don't we just try and kill her when she's alone somewhere? Like, we have to go to the Bahamas to do this? Right. Look, at, again, the coordination, the money yeah. to, to get this all set up. It costs a fortune mm -hmm. it, it to, to get your revenge. Because that's what it is, right? Yeah. It's like Muse Watson or whatever, Bill, Bill Watson. What is his name? Ben Watson. Ben Willis. Ben Willis. Will What's Benson. Will Benson. <laughs> Benson. Will Benson. Will Benson yeah. wants his... Re no, no, no. Ben no. Willis. Don't, ben confuse, Willis is the, don't okay. confuse the man. Yep. Ben Willis wants his revenge, and he wants it so bad, he wants her to suffer. That's what Apparently. we're doing here. I'm yeah, going to make you suffer by killing all these people you don't know, and you won't know that they're dead for a while, yeah. and then I'm going to kill all your friends. <laughs> And then but everyone's gonna I'm gaslight gonna you, you into thinking it's I, just your psychosis and no one's actually dying because that's suffering. You know, yes. a little bit of gaslighting. Going right. On I think he's trying uh, this whole. He's trying to cram a lot into a weekend. Is you know, you ever have one of those? Because yes. yes. he's like, I can kill her and all the people I used to work with. Yes. <laughs> this get is revenge great. on all my coworkers. Right. This yeah. is, uh, oh, uh, see, I was gonna do both. Now I can get all my revenge in one mm -hmm. weekend. That's his plan because apparently he used to live and work there. I know this is a, this is what the movie adds, right? So aside from being a fisherman, mm -hmm. uh, in uh, at one point. yeah, because where did the first movie take place? Southport, North Carolina. Yeah. North something Carolina, like yeah. North okay. Carolina, yeah, something like that. So he would spend his winters maybe working in the Bahamas at a resort and where he raised a family, but then his wife died. Mm. Apparently, she was murdered. I think probably apparently. by him. Maybe. Wasn't there a whole bunch of blood? And the body was all chopped up. That's what they like say. That. Yeah. And then he left there. Maybe that people, was people. But they also say people say a lot of things. Yep. So who knows? Maybe then he moved to North Carolina and became a fisherman. Yeah, but then there's talk of because there's a story being told about he had uh, a wife and two kids, um, and then everyone disappeared at one point. So the wife has died. There's graves and uh, yeah, a cemetery on the island, and his whole family is buried there. It's weird. Yep. It's a whole weird backstory. Okay. Because we know there's two kids, and we know one of the kids, uh, or two of them are dead. You said the, the in the first one. Was Susie his... Susan. Su right? Susan okay. was she, the wife. Yeah. Her, was it? No. Yes. There was no. a Sarah. Sarah's his wife. Okay. Susie's the daughter. I'm with you. Because they're both on there, so okay. they're dead. Because Susie died off screen two, three, okay. four years earlier. Right. <laughs> one of the summers that we know about. <laughs> um yeah, and so there's one grave that's still, it's got a stone and everything, but it's empty. Or okay. somebody's been dug up, or it's, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't but it's know. prepared okay. for Julie. Because it says Julie James on it. And yes. I like the way that she's like, she looks at the gravestone with horror because there's writing on it, it has her name and it has her date of birth and the date she dies. Yeah. And then, well, the date, it says the year, mm -hmm. if I'm correct. It's and she's just like, the year, yeah. yeah, she's like, what day is it? They're yeah. like, it's the 4th yeah, of July. Yeah, like, you didn't right. fucking know it was the 4th of July. And then right. she's like, you know, she said something about like it's today's date. I'm like, it says it just 1998. Says yeah, <laughs> your Some name in two years. years. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Okay. Uh, right then. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, our our we have we have the party scenes, right? As everybody goes to the island and they start to have fun. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. When Makai they show Pfeiffer, up, there's a bunch of people there. Yeah. Yeah. With the first day there, there's other people, and then after that, it's just them. Which honestly. Sounds awesome to have a whole resort to yourself, even if it is off season. Everything you want to do, it's only you and your friends. 
Sounds pretty cool to me. Yeah, well, I mean, it would be cool if Mackay Pfeiffer could get any action, uh, but yeah. Brandy's not putting out every mm-hmm. all the time. She's just like, nope, that's I gotta his do this. struggle. And then yeah. you know, oh, yeah, Jack Black a shows huge up. Struggle, <laughs> like this, he won't shut it's up. It's his character motivation yeah, in the movie. It's his only motivation. And then he's just like pissed for the rest of the movie because like she's crazy. You know, it's mm-hmm. like yeah, it could have been getting late right now, but like right. crazy shit's going on. Um. And there is the awkward uh, meet cute uh, coupling uh, yeah. of um, uh, uh, J Love and uh, Will, Will. Yes. Mm-hmm. right? Who are like, ah, oh, yeah, I guess we got to sh- spend uh, the weekend in this room together and I'll, I'll sleep on the couch. On the couch and, yeah, but I'll like, bring you uh, roses later and get mm-hmm. shit out of you. Yep. And, but we know she's still pining away for old Freddie Prince Jr. Yeah. And where is he yeah, during all this? He's on a bus. He's making his way. <laughs> Cross he's, country bus. He, he ends sorry. up in the hospital. Yep. <laughs> he, then he escapes the hospital through, through the, the window. window. I like this scene in the hospital because you have what is usually like the police talking amongst each other. But it's police and a doctor. Yep. Why the cops, you know. Why are they involved? I, yeah. yeah, and it's like, well, he said that his friend was killed, and you know, uh, and and then he was thrown off the thing, and the cops like, he was probably dr- what does he say? He's like, he's probably he's- drunk, and he hit the the barricade or whatever, and then flew through the windshield. Is what they said. And yeah, then he said, like, case, case closed. closed. Yes. Yep, <laughs> and it's like, well, he suffered a serious brain injury. Then all of a sudden, <laughs> yes. you hear the the, the just... alarm go off, and they're like, "It's the patient in room 103." And they go it's in there, lines. and he didn't like go out the door. He went out through the window, <laughs> through the and, window. <laughs> and there's just kind of the music sting and lightning flashes or yep. whatever. Like, I like, love, <laughs> I love that Freddie Prince Jr. is in his own version of like one flew over the cuckoo's nest in this movie. I'm sorry, but every time they cut back to him, I forgot he was in this movie, and then I'd start like the um, the cut back to him coming out of the bus bathroom with the sling on. He's like, oh yeah, was too funny. I couldn't. How long? Because he's got to go from North Carolina. He takes a bus to Miami. To Miami. Yep. In order to get a boat to go to the well, island. First, yeah. how long is his trip before he gets on the bus? He's got to go to the pawn shop. Yeah, and, and see Mark Boone Jr. about a gun. Yeah, in the movie, right? Who's doing the best acting in this movie? I think. <laughs> the like cigarette I said, he's got a, Yeah, cigarette. I love cigarette acting because he just got it in the corner of his mouth mm-hmm. and he's just going. I love when somebody can do that. Yeah, but we said we love it because, like, you know that that cigarette smoke's going right into that guy's fucking yeah. eye. Right, and he's How not he's dropping that? it at all either. Yeah, you know? no ashes even falling off that thing. It's yeah. You sure, you want to go this way, son? You know? Okay, this, this is, is the most irresponsible <laughs> pawn shop owner. <laughs> this is the most yeah irresponsible gun sale I've ever seen in cinema yeah. like he, he's like he, he's turning in the engagement ring to pawn it off to get he needs money because he's trying to get the <laughs> island and he's like give me the gun as well and uh, Mark Boone Jr. is just like you want to go this way well there's a, Mark Boone Jr. is like there's a waiting period so you can't take it home today and right and just because Freddie Prince Jr. goes no yeah. now he skips <laughs> he's like alright fine yep. we'll yes. skip that so like this, also it. put bullets in this yeah. thing yeah. that's that, that thing between men where they're like oh shit you need this right now yeah, <laughs> yeah. probably yeah, yeah. but right. the fact it's, that he's, <laughs> he's like I, I understand <laughs> but the fact that he's trading in his engagement ring this engagement ring right, makes it look like he's gonna go gun? kill a woman <laughs> yes it's like Jesus yeah. either he, he like the he's expecting him to blow his brains out right there in the shop or, or go, go kill, kill his wife yeah exactly yeah. Yeah. like either yeah. or and like we should say he's in a sling and he's all beat up and while yeah, he's, he's doing this and yeah. All that stuff. Yeah. yeah and a traumatic brain injury. And a TBI, it, re- yeah. it, re- it reminded me there's an episode of it's always something like this where they get into a really bad car accident and they have a brain injury and they go into a pawn shop and they try to buy a wedding dress and a gun so it's a very, a very specific episode of it's always sunny but um Load it. But yeah, every time they cut back to his story, it's just a completely different movie altogether. Yeah. Yeah. Because it is just the like his, you know, I have to get there in order to save her. I can't call the island. The radio doesn't work. He ends up commandeering a boat, which I was like, oh, that's right. I forgot. He, he's a, you know, he's yeah, a he can, sailor. He's so he can. Up. He yep. can so of course stormy seas because of course the storm arrives on the island stormy and- seas with bad composite skylines Oof, yeah. that was just rough because everything i have a feeling they're like maybe we'll get some everything was sunny the entire time they were <laughs> shooting and we're like, oh, oh yeah we put some rain and some we have to desaturate so it looks like shit they waited the- for that one cloud to come over so yeah. they could yes. shoot yeah there's some aggressive day for night yeah there's a storm scene where it's basically in black and white because they had to desaturate it so much it yep. Things were not going their way filming this for sure, but no. but that being said, it's still twenty four million dollars. It does not look like a twenty four million dollar movie. I, they, especially, maybe they had to build this whole place. It, 
They must have, right? Yeah, the sets. Yeah. Probably. Because there was that scene where they were running across, across the rooftop, you know, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, 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 the basically attic. in the attic. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, they had to build that whole thing. But I mean, how much those sets really cost? Yeah. I don't know. You know, it's like, what? Especially you're building them here, like in L.A., you yeah. know? Like, I'm not... guessing it was J-Love and Freddie it, Prince right. Jr. probably at that time were, you know, mm-hmm. decently paid for this movie and probably sure. ate up a good portion of the Brandy budget. And Brandy. Brandy. They probably got paid pretty well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um... Star power. That's what you're paying for because mm-hmm. you're going to get the butts in the seats. Yep. Yeah. You probably had to pay her to get her back. Jennifer mm-hmm. Love Hewitt. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, She's she, like, I don't want to do this. She didn't because after this, she was like, no more horror movies because I don't want to be a screen queen. And I was like, that's a bummer because I would have loved her as like a screen yeah, queen. She, she wanted yeah. to be a singer because she, uh, she has that uh, song, yep. song career. She, yep. career yep. Yep. She's a song. Fe- I mean, part of the contract right there. It's mm-hmm. just like, all right, I'll be in this movie, but I get a song in this too. Movie. But it's wild that she sings the karaoke and not break. Brandy. Right. That's insane. Yeah. Like, and not, but like, I thought they were going to do it together. And I was like, that makes sense. Yeah. But then when it was just J Love, I was like, oh my God. Was really? Her, <laughs> what was she like? Just newly like releasing these albums so. and stuff. Was that like a time? This was the. Like, I think this was the time like she went for it because yeah. her star was mm-hmm. on the rise. With I know what she did last summer and everything. So, so. make them think about her singing, and maybe they'll buy her albums. Right? right. Probably oh yeah, there were tons of Sony stuff. records. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, geez, <laughs> imagine me and Brandy being told to sit down for this scene. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, wow, sure. wow. Watch her sing. Yeah. Um. So they uh, they could have both sung "The Boy Is Mine" and then there would have been some synergy, thinking, yeah. right? And then you're just like, "This yeah. is coming out too." But yep. no, 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 no. Uh, Jennifer Love Hewitt is the star, yep. so let's keep that straight. Well, there are killings in this movie. There's there a bunch are. of it's a slasher movie. A lot and of so, them are, and like you said before, inconsequential to most everybody yeah. else because the the Derek the Duck hand gets killed off the dock. Yep. I suppose he's got to get rid of him so nobody can stop him from right, his yeah. evil right. plan. Yep. And then you got to get rid of the radio. You got to get radio. Jack Black is dead. I mean, they're, he's just making bodies to shock people later is basically what he's yeah, doing. Yeah, right. I mean, that's basically so he's going to put him in his kill room. All slashers have their kill room that yeah. you stumble onto later. He does a lot of like moving bodies around. It seems like yeah. extra work. You know, yeah. if you just want to kill this girl, I mean, yeah, there's a lot like, of work going in to I gotta scare her first, to, right? To torture <laughs> this woman and her yeah. friends before they are killed. Like, I know because she hit me with a fucking car. Her boyfriend hit me with a car last summer, two summers ago. Yep. Two summers ago. Uh huh. Yep. After I murdered someone. Yeah. Yep. So I know the, the motivation is kind of like, oh, it's, okay. it's a, it's a yeah. lot. Yeah, I don't feel lot. it. You know, yep. no, especially when, like we were talking earlier, um, we don't get, we know it's him, but he's not like tormenting them verbally at all or in any. Uh, it's, it's a weird dynamic that we know who it is that he's returned. I think, like, we're pretty sure early on it's him, right? Because yeah. we see the hook is on the hand. And yeah. Like, yeah. Okay. Well, he was a talking person character at the end of the first one. Now he's. Kind of just going back to this, which I don't know. It's just weird that he's not. It's just weird. So it just feels weird. In the karaoke scene, when she sees the uh, karaoke lyrics, because we get a full song. Yeah. Uh, when we when the lyrics change to the red, I still, I still know, know. Did that actually happen or did she just have a psychotic break? Uh, I say everything. Well, who knows? Because uh, I was going to say, like, I say everything in the movie happens, but then we have the end of but the first one. Yeah, there's and stuff, the end of yeah, this one. Exactly, so who yeah. knows? But no, I think that happened. So that was I have no, I have, I have 50% confidence that that <laughs> this, is This adds true. to your theory, though, that how much planning goes into this. Because yeah, they had to program the karaoke to do this at this specific time for this song. Right. For her, like, for her to only see it apparently because yeah. no one else seemed to see it. <laughs> that was yeah. a lucky break. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that nobody else. Saw. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a lot of convenience yes. in this movie. Yeah. Too much. Con- a lot of again, like we said earlier, a lot of bodies moving, a lot of cleanup. There had to be real quick in certain situations yep. because the uh, Derek the Dock Hand uh, uh, gets killed, but he ends up in Julie's closet. This is her first big thing where she's like, "Okay, people are dying on this yeah. island. It's happening again." Because mm-hmm. she, we had the shower scene. And the white robe scene, which I think uh, anybody who's a fan of this movie will remember. And then there's noises in the her, her room, and she opens the closet, and boom, hanging by his neck, dude drops down, mm-hmm. blood all over the floor. She runs screaming, goes and grabs everyone, and when they come back, it's gone. Mm-hmm. And all cleaned up. Blood yeah. is notoriously difficult right. to clean up, but Like, it's that's, gone. again, to hang a dude from... Uh, yeah. Dead bodies aren't light. No. 
you know right. like to hang a dude by his neck from a rope in the closet where was he but like how tall is this closet? Yeah. there's a lot of questions i got yeah just about the, the the science and the dynamics of this i think you know this whole idea of pre-planning something for your revenge because you really want to get this person because they did something horrible to you that you know demands some kind of justice yeah. right I just don't feel it with this character. This like this guy makes no sense. It's like he got hit by a car. Yeah. And then they didn't tell anybody about it. Like, I mean, that's horrible. But, you know, I mean, <laughs> I don't know that it it like if it was you know, like you killed my son, you know, mm, OK, yeah. even that. Right. It was like, now I'm going to get you. Right. I'm going to make you suffer like you made him suffer. But it is like he got hit with a car and it's just like, I'm going to fucking make your life miserable for five years you know whatever right. at least I mean, two yeah. years in a row yeah um, well, well now he's mad because he lost a hand oh yeah that's and right it's, now this be, time it's personal now it's gonna be hook-handed yeah oh yeah um so which, all the which is why is i said hitting... it's weird that we don't get more motivation from him from right. him yeah. you know because yeah. like everyone knows who it is like the characters know who it is mm -hmm. so why can't we have why can't we have a dialogue here <laughs> In this movie, why can't they talk to each other? It's weird. I know he could kill uh, Je Jennifer Love Hewitt uh, in the tanning salon. I was going to say the famous scene from this movie. At least I feel like growing up, this was the scene everyone talked about from this movie. Probably, uh, yeah, because like if you've ever used a tanning bed, that kind of is your fear because when you shut it, it does feel like you're closing a casket on yourself. True. The way the door yeah. comes down, so like it is always like, oh, I'm just hoping that no one's gonna lock me in here no you know tie me yeah. into this thing which, I, yeah why not just kill her right there yeah, what, yeah. what's what's i know what do you want does he gotta kill everybody want? else first i don't know <laughs> what he wants he just wants to make her suffer i think that's, that's it. it it's like you have to feel that i'm always watching you you're not gonna be able to do anything without me like but, popping out of the woodwork i gotta mentally torture you and then but i'm gonna wait kill a year else. before it happens but the yeah. problem with the tanning bed scene it doesn't is make that any sense nothing yeah. happens to her no like the psycho it's the psychological torture of being locked in there, but like yes. she doesn't get burned, she doesn't break the glass and hurt herself, like literally nothing. Yeah, happens. he turns the timer up to the maximum yeah. that the thing allows, which right. means that it's like he didn't safe turn the heat for the up. thing to it's yeah. just like you're gonna be in there longer. Yeah. You're gonna be in there yeah. longer. At lock least you in Final Destination three, the they heat fried. turned yeah. up and they literally yep. and I think the glass broke too, yeah. and they yeah. literally fried. Because yeah. it got over voltaged yeah. or yeah. whatever electric yeah, there was where it's like this one's like, okay, so she's just gonna get sunburned. Yeah. Maybe if someone if someone doesn't show up in the next half hour. Yeah. But like zip tied. So and then they have to use a hammer to get her out. Yeah. They use, I thought they used a dumbbell. A dumbbell, yeah, yeah. It's a dumbbell makes, to break. Because then it yeah. starts sparking and breaking, and it's like, no, now you're actually going to hurt her. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Sharp like we couldn't anything. find anything sharp. Yeah, like even close. You yeah. got keys on you. Yeah, you yeah. Keys. I know that's what I was thinking. Keys. I'm like, wait, do they have keys? You're on vacation. You're mm -hmm. right, whatever. Um, but yeah. Jeffrey Combs, he was ejected from the movie. They just find him with an axe in his head. And they're like, oh, that was kind of, you, know, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. I mean, he's not a star. I guess he is with, in Among For Horror. Us, yeah. people, Among Us, know. he is, yeah. Um, so then... Uh, uh, Estes, there's the stuff with Estes and Voodoo. He's, that, yeah, Voodoo which guy. Which comes to... No. Thing? Not well, you're really? supposed to think that maybe he's in cahoots because right. he knows that Ben Willis was here on the island before yeah, he used he's to work here. He's the one here. who gives us a story about yeah. Ben Willis previously being. So then you're like, oh shit, that means Ben Willis knows people on the island. I guess could the actually set really this thing up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The voodoo doesn't, it's just a red herring. Yeah. So they yeah. go. Maybe, maybe if they him. only shown um, the hair tie and the toothbrush, it'd be like, oh, it worked because yeah. they lived at the end, but right. he also had. Yeah, uh, Mackay Pfeiffer's chain in mm -hmm. there, and he dies. So. He does not make it because the because uh, he wily a, fish fisherman was an event. Yeah, for who like, knows how long? Apparently, over just a lurking. stove in the yeah. kitchen, you know, and it just drops down and yeah, hooks the, him through the neck. In the neck. Yeah, with uh, one of my um, I I enjoy a hook through the neck like anybody would, <laughs> but this was a lot of CG. This was CGI. Uh, hook in his neck. Also, have, did you notice the blood dropping down? Very just CGI. Loopy. No weight mm -hmm. to it. Just yeah. kind of mm -hmm. there. Yeah, not the best kill. I guess they couldn't figure out how to do it practically, and they're just like, we'll CGI it. Fuck it. Never CGI your blood, folks. Just no, don't do it. it never, just don't never do it. Works. Never looks good. Never lands right. Never yep. splatters well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Jennifer Esposito becomes like part of the main crew because she nowhere. survives the longest with it. Well, I guess because they got rid of Mackay Pfeiffer, they have to bring a fourth, another fourth person. And so they have four people. Yeah. And it's Jennifer Esposito, mm -hmm. who we don't know who the hell she is, except she's an ill tempered bartender. Basically. Yep. Who yeah. so, <laughs> hates being on that uh, island. Yeah. Um, 
And so the fisherman pursues them all, but then uh, we realize that there actually is a second party because it's a sequel, dun, dun, dun. and you now you got to have two killers because Scream has kind of set this up. Oh, who two is- monsters, Michaela. I'm very sorry. I yep. know. Yep, it was upsetting. Shocking reveal. Who is the killer? Now I gotta say, I, I was actually going like, well, it might be Jennifer Esposito as the other kid, sure. forgetting of course that the daughter was dead, dead. So mm-hmm. it has to be a uh, boy. So mm-hmm. who is Will Benson? Ben Benson. Possibly one of the worst slash wildest reveals <laughs> yes. that I've seen. Because it's like, wow, wow, yeah. really? That's wow. But okay. Yep. So apparently Ben Willis' son. The potential love interest. He's actually Tom yeah. Willing Jr. He's, yep. he's yeah. the killer. He is the killer. Did he kill anybody? <sighs> this is a very good question. <laughs> I think this I is hate more, to spring this on you this know, late into the honest, well, I don't know. right. <laughs> and yeah, we'll never. No. Uh, I'll never know what you did last. No, I'll never. I'll, I'll never forget what you did last summer. Well, we probably. know that he was the voice on the. Uh, this is revealed because he was the voice on the on the radio. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, this, this because is, they guessed incorrectly, but still won the trip. Right. right. This is. I should. I should hate this more because this is kind of like. A, it's a killer reveal. It's a scream reveal, but it's also a character turning into a completely different character. Yep. Yes. And the last part, which I know I've railed against before in other movies, um, uh, but this one, I, I recognize it's ridiculousness of it, but it doesn't. Twenty five years on, it doesn't offend me <laughs> at, anymore. I guess. <laughs> and because I saw it so young, I put was that like, on yeah, the DVD box. It doesn't offend me. It doesn't offend me anymore. Yeah. So yeah, that one's it's it's a real weird one because yeah, he reveals to Julie that uh, he is. The son of Ben Willis. Right. And this has allowed him to orchestrate a bunch of stuff. I mean, I don't actually know what this serves other than having a, a surprise. surprise, you know, because we know who the killer is. It's yeah. uh, Ben Willis. But surprise, this other guy is in on it, too. Yeah. Which, I mean, really, if you took this scene out, you don't change the movie at all, really. The only no. thing that this serves to do is like, how did you get to the Bahamas? Because it seems improbable that a person could arrange all this stuff. Well, (laughs) if you were selected to go to this very specific resort, yeah, you know, then surprise. Um, It's very, it's very interesting when they, the dynamics of a uh, of a family member of someone who's been wronged being gung ho about joining that family member to get revenge. Yeah, it's it's a real common thread in horror, in horror especially horror. lately. It really it, yeah. like people are really offended if you do something to their family. Yeah. yeah. And they always are just like, "Oh yeah, let's fucking kill people." But he like has, it goes to that real quick. He has those those facial tics which tell you that he's a psychotic, which are yeah. basically yes. that he can have one emotion and then a minute later turn it off or mm-hmm. whatever. Yep. Um so the fa- whole family's crazy? Is that what's going on? There's schizophrenia Well, the two members the- are. Everyone yeah. else is pretty normal, but, yeah. they, but they're dead. So he, and he's dragging her, and he's dragging her back to the uh, in the a lot of rain, man. I feel sorry for these people. I know these poor actors. But he's dragging her back to the to the grave site for their final confrontation. He gets her there, the reveal, and then Ben Willis is also there. There were some interesting, cool scenes in between all the like. Brandy is attacked. She falls through a skylight. Um. She gets and lives. Apparently. And lives. She lives. Yeah, she gets. There was the whole walking later. on top of the glass. Like, yeah. but oh my they, god, it didn't really feel. Like it was very suspenseful, you know, no. compared to like the Lost World or Don't Breathe right, or something. Yeah, yeah, also yeah. done those kind of things. Yeah, it was just kind of like okay, and then she fell through, and you know, we're like, is she dead? Well, she's just sidelined from the movie, and we'll show up at the end, and like, I survived. You know, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, thank God. <laughs> um, yeah. Fisherman kills everybody else, but you know, like but leaves her like, oh yeah, I got her. It's fine. Yeah, he was finished because he had to get back to for the big confrontation, the Scooby Doo ending, where everybody is in the same room, going yeah. like, it was me the whole time. Um, yes, but he is revealed at the end finally, and says his first words in the movie. But yeah, he it, it is revealed who we knew it was the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's probably another reason why the will the will benson thing comes in because like we need a surprise at the end of this and if they already know who the killer is we got to add something to it it can't just be him going around killing people so they're like uh plot twist well melissa uh uh, or sorry uh uh, there's there's been no melissa up to this point (laughs) melissa joan hart uh (laughs) jennifer love hewitt is in a very difficult spot because there's two killers have confronted her in the graveyard and she is about to be killed and then Surprise! 
Freddie Prince Jr. is back. Oh, that's right. I forgot he was in this movie. No cast anymore. <laughs> cast is gone. Don't worry about that. Yep. Yeah. Now armed with the gun, he's like, get At your hands over. At the exact right moment. Yes. Hey, how he found this spot on the in island. The in the cemetery. The- yeah, yeah, he yeah. found this exact spot in the cemetery, he- popped out from behind that headstone. But thank God he did, Michaela, because mm-hmm. otherwise it could have been a very different movie. Yep. Yeah, everybody, everybody would be dead. Um, but but, they, he, but Freddie Prince gets in a fight with with uh, Ben Willis Jr. and uh, they, he goes. Ben Willis goes for the killing blow, but he knocks Freddie Will Prince Benson, knocks, yeah. punches him in the face, mm-hmm. and he uh, Ben Willis hooks his own son in the chest. Boom. Oh my God, he's killed Tragic. his own son. Tragic. That was easy. He took the other <laughs> killer out of the movie, and then and Freddie Prince Jr. didn't have to be a bad guy. He could just yep. Yep. skirt responsibility entirely. And then uh, J-Love blasts the fucking shit out of that yep, guy. He's not coming guy. back this time. And he ends up in a grave. You know, it's uh, poetic. Mm-hmm. The grave. Uh, probably his yep. grave. Probably. Yeah. It was open. They had her tombstone thing on it. Yep. And uh, we're like, oh, Oof, man, we're glad that they got out of this one. And Brady's like, ah, I, mean, I survived too. And then the helicopter shows, shows up. up. Thank God. Coast Guard knows that they need help. <laughs> And credits. No, that's not what happens because we go one year later, probably. Probably. They don't say it, but probably. <laughs> but probably. Which year are we in? <laughs> now she's got a house and she's wearing a wedding ring that apparently he pawned, but then get, was able to get back yep. um, when he returned the gun, most likely. And then uh, Freddie Prince Jr. is uh, trying out the latest uh, product technology. The latest tooth technology. In the and bathroom. Yeah, he loves that thing. <laughs> it's an electric, electric toothbrush. toothbrush. He it says is. that. I that love felt this like some product placement, didn't it? It goes on. It, they yeah. keep cutting away, yeah. cutting back. He still oh, uses it, cutting away. That's they, they, that's got to be why they put that line in there. He's like, I love, I love this, this thing, thing because yeah. they go back to it so much. Yeah. It's like they, they realize like he's not doing anything. He's just brushing yeah. his teeth for it's this entire too ending. Long. Yeah, like he's brushing his teeth for like four minutes yeah. straight. Yeah. Probably an I mean, ad lib like, on his part, right? Because he's just standing there like doing this, and they're, like, they're like, going to cut this in at some point. Yeah. Like, I love this thing. Then you walk it's off. It's probably just like, nice to, to take a break from pretending yeah. to brush your teeth. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Julie's got to close the window because she heard some scuffle in the other room. In a room that is now caked with mud. <laughs> like huge footprints. It's on the wall. It's like, where? How do you, what are you it's looking like, at? Uh, it's like in Creep Show when the, the tide monsters come into the house <laughs> and they leave the footprints in the yeah, carpet yeah. that are all wet. That's like what it's like. It's just like, yeah. okay, what are, you, what, are you, what are you doing? But whatever. So we know. I know what she knows that I know that she knows that she still did last, last summer. I don't know. Summer work ago. Out. Um, they really, for the, if they do make a legacy sequel, well, they really need to dig into yeah, that just name keep and just going. keep like I the longest know one. what you already, you know, what I've oh. always known that you did. No, they can't use always anymore because okay. we had a third yeah. one that did but it. Here's the problem with this franchise and its naming is that it's always referring back to the same initial event, Ooh. right? So you have to keep referencing the first movie all the time because that's what you're talking about in the title they need to move away from that they should have made the sequel uh i know i know what you did last summer comma two (laughs) t-o-o and then just make it another thing that happened that same summer yeah there you go that was the way i mean you you can't keep tying it back yeah yeah. (laughs) because yeah you just gotta refer to the year before yeah i know what you did last summer too Yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 these would work this ending. but i like i still yeah. know because it, cause it it's, i like i still know still, but but like i said narratively it doesn't work because you're referring right. back to the same inciting event over and over again and yes you, that limits your plot a lot yeah. yeah you know it's a sequel that maybe didn't need to have how's it and i hated this ending i gotta say yeah. yeah, hated it uh, uh shocking uh ben Wallace is still alive i guess under the bed and pulls her under i did yeah, i didn't like that screaming but it, it cut I mean, to it, black. It, it cut to black. It go, but it goes with the, how the first one ended. The first one was like that, yeah. The but, first one, I didn't know if that was or if we were supposed to take it as a dream. Well, this is the same with this one. Yeah. Really? Because it seemed thing. like it just happened. I didn't get the feeling. Because this isn't no. a nightmare on Elm Street. It doesn't. Well, I guess it does. She's always having dreams. But yeah. we're yeah. not like. I don't know. She doesn't seem to be standing on shaky psychological ground where she, or I guess she does keep talking about it, like she has dreams yeah, and stuff she, like yeah. that. Yeah, she's seen bodies and shit. Yeah. I just go with it because that's how they ended the first one. They're mm-hmm. just like, uh, so obviously she, it wasn't real. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. got to get that yeah. one last scare in so there. So when we do the third one and you come back, J Love, we'll just ignore right. it at the end of this. Exactly. Right. The, I'll, mm-hmm. I'll never forget what you did last summer. Yeah. 
Uh, oh, there you go. There, there, yeah, that's yeah. what it'll because I can't use it. I'll, I'll always, it's, I'll never forget. That should be the title the new of the legacy. Yeah, that'll yeah, be the legacy. I'll never forget. I'll never forget. Yeah. yeah. Well, you did that I, summer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what do you? Yeah. What well, you did? Well, yeah. They could. Well, I it, can't change it too much. No, yeah. it should be that summer because last summer is the last. You know what I'm saying? But you can't deviate now. <laughs> yeah. We are but in it. When we you're 25 years later and you're referring back to the, sa- the yes. inciting line. And that's yeah. why you have to do it. Yeah. Because it's referring to that 25 years ago. <sighs> but who would be alive? Nobody. Like Ben Willis, uh, like it's 20. Yeah. How is Freddie you- Prince he- coming back? <sighs> like how in back. what like in what context is See, I don't, right? I don't think like, they're I don't they think they're kids doing and it. Yeah. No, something happened but who's with the their killer? kids. Uh Ben Willis is ghost they already did that. Yeah, I have no idea. It's no. a new thing. Like somehow it was Ben Willis's great grandchild, and he's also psychotic, and he grew up on a different island. I think this is why we haven't heard anything because everyone got real <laughs> excited about the idea, and they're like, "Oh fuck, we have no way to make this happen." Yeah, and but, they're just like, "Ah, eh, forget it." Well, if, okay, so if they if we pretend that two and three didn't happen, and they just do like the Halloween 2018 Ooh. route. What I would do is just make it, it's their high school reunion and they're all back in town for their high school reunion. And then either their kids have like a situation or something, but that's how you get them all back together in a way that makes sense to have a big time gap. Right. Sure. You haven't seen these people in 25 years because it's sure. been 25 years since you graduated high school. Right? I'm, I'm down for whatever yeah, they want to so come up that's with. That's how I would at least having, start it. You having know? watched these two movies very close together yeah. in the past week. Mm-hmm. I'm down for whatever ridiculous yeah. goofiness that they will come up mm-hmm. with for the third. Because this is it's a it's a this is a goofy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's it gets goofier as you go. We can't let it lie. We have to keep mining those things that we remember. Because remember, yeah. remember how that was. Well, good? I remember a hook. Yeah. He's got a hook for a hand. Uh, maybe, but maybe he's got two hooks this time. <laughs> just, uh, just double hook. Maybe this time he'll have the interchangeable one. Yeah. I think one's a chainsaw. Would. Right. You can't do that. They, no, you know, can't do can't that. Do that. One no. could just be a god and he could go around <laughs> <laughs> that would Not be funny. An movie. <laughs> uh, no, I like double hooks where he can't open yeah. a fucking door. They gave a gun to Ghostface. I mean, like you know, we don't have to use knives and gun. stabbing weapons anymore in these things. Okay, so uh, we're going to tell you whether or not. What if he has should... a grappling hook? Like he just shoots <laughs> off of his hand. <laughs> he just oh no, he grapples around. Yeah, spear, spear gun. gun. There, yeah. there we yeah. go. Okay, but he has the spear gun for violence, the grappling hook for traveling. Right. Why yes. can't we give him the flying CD that kills people from my? Uh, uh, what was I come in peace? Oh yeah, yes, yeah. 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 yeah, I want interchangeable <laughs> things for his yeah. hand. Yeah, <laughs> like so you want him to be Inspector Gadget, basically. basically. Yeah. yeah. That's where we're going for the new one. It's, yeah, uh, it's twenty twenty three. I mean, or at least, or at least be like. He can kill somebody with it, detach it, and then he pulls out a new hook to put it on. Yeah. And then go after him. Like multiple hooks. Oh. See, listen to us, I Hollywood. I just want to yeah. see him grapple on it, though. <laughs> Kayla's really... Yeah. Her, uh, Did, didn't you ever grapple a bunch when you played, like, Goldeneye or uh, or no, yeah. Fire as a Kid? Grapple oh, I just did it in real life. Map. You you grappled in real life, yeah, huh? You, you got a you grappling me, gun? You, no, but no, you, no, need no. The, you need the Batman one that lifts yeah, you up. Yeah, that's like, what I'm oh, talking about. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You yeah, can yeah. swing yeah. on it? Yeah. yeah. I just got one of those. You know, yes, just, that's what right. I want. Yeah, yeah. just shoot He's up not, and fly Okay, we don't want to root for the killer. This is the problem with all of these. That's where they go. When I was a kid, yeah. and every time I with my siblings who played Goldeneye and Nightfire, my one sibling always wanted to set the... You know how you could change the settings to what weapons spawn and you know whatnot? Yeah. They always wanted to set it to grapples only. So you, <laughs> so you would only grapples. have grapples and then your slappers. And that's it. So you can grapple funny. and slap people to death. That's it. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> grapple slap. Grapple slap. All right. Well, All right. should you right. watch this movie is the burning question <laughs> that you've got in your mind. And we're going to tell you what we thought of it and if you should watch it. But first of all, before we reveal that, we're going to read some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. He grappled over here. Just he just grappled right over here. He had to grapple up yeah. under the bar. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. They can 
email us. Saturday, Saturday Night Freak Show, show at yahoo.com. Yahoo. And you can follow along on Instagram and threads at Saturday <laughs> Night Freak Show. I was getting, wondering if threads was going to get added uh, or if it was going to replace Twitter. <laughs> um, we're everywhere. We yeah. just, we're not on TikTok yet or yeah. Snapchat. No. Should we be? You email us Probably. and let us know. Or, you know. DM us. TikTok is let us yeah. know. Slide into our DMs, whatever you're doing out there. Uh, MF Mad, the keeper of the Saturday Night Free Show Wall of Fame, wants us to know oh, yeah. that Bill Cobbs, yes, the star, Estes, of I Bill Still Cobbs. Know What You Did Last Summer, yep. is on the wall because he was also Grandpa Booker in The People Under the Stairs. Right. And he was uh, Zachary Lamb in Demolition Man. Oh, yeah. Nice. Uh, Jack Black yes. is also. I didn't realize this one. Uh, I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, because Oops. guess what? He was but also, also Demolition Man. in Demolition Man uh, as a wasteland scrap in Demolition Man. Huh. Uh, he and was also almost the same character in Waterworld. Water World. Yep, basically. Wow. And I still know what you did last summer about tonight's movie. Neil Gums writes in and says it's a horror sequel that's better than the original. However, Richard Crotzer says, oh, boy, I'm sending thoughts and prayers with this one. This may be the worst sequel I've ever seen. Oh, damn. It's too bad that Julie James didn't buy it at the end of the first. I know what you did last summer as teased. Yeah. Yeah. Probably would have been a better way to go. <laughs> Michael Whitaker says, I never watched this franchise, but I remember the marketing for this one specifically for some reason. I wonder what it was. All oh, right. The emphasis on Jennifer Love Hewitt's bo- boobs. Yep. Yeah. There was that. Mm-hmm. I think the tag, like, get hooked again. Yeah. Was, yeah. Like, the tagline for it. I remember those commercials for yeah, this one. Yeah, because she has that both times. I don't know if that's just like in her personality or what, but in the first one, she does that kind of wide arm. Yeah. Like, yeah. What are you waiting for? Like, I'm yeah. right here. And she, they reprise that. Reprise? Yeah. Yep. Yep. They reprise it again. Yep. And in this movie, uh, Jared Watt said, I'm pretty sure her boobs had their own trailer on set. <laughs> uh, Carson Too Snar trailer. says, I think this movie was my introduction to Jack Black in the worst uh, way. I think yes, it was mine as well. I think it was well. for most people, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Adam Kaler says, well, Jack Black, the first one I ever, like, I'd Jackal? seen this. No, it was um, High Fidelity. Okay, uh, yeah. Which I think was like his breakout. I think so. Yeah. Like he was people took na- note of him in that movie. Yes. Um Adam Kaler says, Oh, Sean, did you know there was a sequel oh, no. after this one? It yeah. might not be what you think it'd be. Be afraid. It's, be very afraid. I I am yeah. I have seen it and I am still afraid. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. Uh Jimbo I says, I'm stunned this hasn't been covered. Is this the movie that signaled the teen slasher craze that jumped the shark? <sighs> It might be. We're on our way there. Yeah. Probably capped off with Scream 3. Uh, which was I mean, I don't year? Know. Which was 2000. I was going to say Valentine later. might be. The what year was Valentine? That was 2000. 2000. 2000. Yeah. yeah. This is where we start getting into the. Yeah. Yeah. The whole uh, different version of the craze of teen slashers. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it depends what you like, because mm-hmm. otherwise there was, if you like it, there's a good, and what, good run in there. The whole is what, 2000, 2001? Which one? The one with the Kira Knightley Kira? one? Yeah. Is it a slasher movie? No. No, but it's of the same time period, I oh, okay. guess. Yeah. Yeah, but that one's very British. Yeah, because I'm thinking of like all those like the the slasher movies that really like the anemic slasher movies of the 1990s. Yeah. But yeah. there was like a good run of them, probably longer run. than the original. I mean, H2O again yeah. in 1998. They're not. Yeah. We we're, we got a level where it's just like, all right, good, entertaining, but nothing is just like, oh, I love. I mean, again, depends on who you are. I'm like, I love the movies from this era. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, a Pat Hetfield says, I still don't care what any of these people did last <laughs> <laughs> at a certain That's point. Great. Yes. Uh, last week we watched a movie called Deep Star Six. So nobody liked this movie, is what, is what that yeah. mailbag is telling us. <laughs> um, about Deep Star Six, uh, Travis Legler says, Colin, you talked about the actor that was on a TV show and also did AARP commercials. Uh, did you mean Dean Winters, who was on SVU and now does all state insurance commercials? That's mayhem. Yes. In the, oh, yeah. uh, yes. But no, that's not who we're talking about. No, you about. were talking about Matt McCoy. I looked it up. You were correct. He did do AARP commercials. It was specifically AARP yes. Auto from the Hartford. Yes. <laughs> oh. So I don't know how you saw this commercial, but I mean, they were all over the place. I don't Damn. know. Apparently, I'm in that age bracket now. They start young. Yeah. yeah. I like to think yes. with uh, marketing <laughs> you uh, for AARP. Yeah. When we were talking about Matt McCoy, we were yes. like, "What's he been in?" Mm-hmm. We missed. He was the guy who replaced Steve Gutenberg in the Police Academy movies. He was ah, in four and five. Gotcha. Really? Yeah. 
Interesting. Okay. So As the same character? Patrol, it's a, no, he's or a just, different, he's the, but he's, he's the lead, he's the lead? of, of okay. Police Academy. Interesting. Yeah. I forgot there were that many uh, Police Academy movies. Uh, Mark Harrison says about Deep Star 6, I remember watching this and thinking it was the least good of that bunch of deep sea creature features. Ouch. Damn. Ouch. Least good. I haven't seen them all, so I can't speak to that. She's yeah. got some homework to do. Mm-hmm. Brian Nielsen says, the pros, good monster design, Miguel Ferrar, Ferrar's character being both Harry Cooper from Night of the Living Dead and Private Salazar from Day of the Dead, the corporate prick not being a total prick, and Harry yeah. Manfredini. The cons, the, no creatures all over the one hour mark, yeah. bland mm-hmm. but likable characters, an over-reliance on death by cliche dialogue. Seriously, every character that dies gives the when I get home speech and oddly the movie being a monster movie the recent film underwater had the same problem cut out the beasties and just make it a deep sea disaster movie there you go yeah I think that's what they do pick though. one yeah, yeah well, there's always there's always the that monster. part of it because the <laughs> monster turns it into a disaster movie yeah, aliens was a disaster yeah movie. just took so gonna go off yeah, in yeah. just took too long for the creature to show up in this movie. yeah it wasn't in it that much any more creature it seemed like a secondary threat Okay, I think yes. it was the week before we watched Jaws 2. We did. Mm-hmm. Uh, James Mace. <laughs> I know what you watched last week. <laughs> yeah. James Mace says what Jaws 2 needed was for more of the annoying teens to be eaten. They were insufferable. I spent a large portion of the movie actively rooting for them to die. We could have, yeah, we could have eaten the hippie. The the long-haired one from that. She could have got it. Who got scraped on the side. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We could have ate her. Yeah. Hey, one of the guys all. eat all those kids. Yeah, I know the eat shark. We're on shark team shark. I jaws too. Okay, I mean, yes. so, <laughs> uh, thank you very much, all thank of you, you for writing in. We really appreciate it. We wouldn't be here without you. And now we're going to go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie. I still know what you did last summer, starting with John. This movie, you know. I still like these movies. <laughs> um, I recognize <laughs> that they are ridiculous movies. And if for nothing else, just watch the Freddie Prince Jr. character in both of them. Because he's he's really uh he's really doing it. Like he's going for it. He is over uh the top in, in what he's doing. But I still find these fun. Um I, I you know, this was part of the big Jennifer Love Hewitt era, which, you know, I pretty much watched her and everything back in the day. Um, yeah, I still, uh, is this one better than the first one? Hmm. That's all. That's interesting. I think they're both on the same level, to tell you the truth. Um, oh, should what I recommend it to you to watch it? I'll watch it again. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but yeah, I'm going to say I recommend it because I think it's uh, the it's still fun. I like these movies. It's a weird thing. I know they're not that good. And these, would you, um, would you consider these B level? Like Scream, yeah. Scream's A level. This would this be B level. This is the wish version of Scream. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, this is some It's true. You know it's true. Wish. Um, but yeah, it, uh, B team, but you know, I've been on the B team my whole life. So there we go. I, I, I recommend, I still know. And I would go watch, I'll never forget what you did last summer. If they ever make it, which I don't think they will. But, yeah, I'd go see that probably with a big grin on my face. So, yeah, um, despite its flaws, and there are many as far as logic and what have you in this movie, um, I still enjoy it, so I'm going to recommend it. Colin! Um, I mean, obviously, Scream kicked off the 90s uh, second slasher wave. Yes. Um, I know what you did last summer. I think I liked it. I mean, I remember it favorably mm. and it was kind of you know it feels like it was the second one it was scream and then you were like i'm all hyped up and they're bringing slashers back and then there was i still know what you did last summer yep um i like the people in it they were all you know like it was buffy and ryan Phil- philippi philippi Phil- uh Philippe. yep yeah Felipe. Yeah. and uh so it was kind of of an era and i like the fisherman thing and um you know, so I was like, okay. And then there were other slasher movies, and I don't think I liked any of them, to be honest with you, mm. because they all felt like, well, you're being slasher movies, but you're not really being slasher movies. You're being screen. You're being mm-hmm. these whodunits with teens, and they all kind of look the same, and they feel the same, and this one feels just like those. Yeah, I think you're. By this time, it's like it's played out. Uh, it doesn't really bring anything. There's nothing standout about it. Uh, I'm sitting there going like, 
you know, the Freddie Prince Jr. subplot is ridiculous, <laughs> but somehow the most interesting thing it's about so it, funny. like, yeah, <laughs> because it's like, wait, what? Yeah. What's happening? That was the only time I was like, kind of like engaged being like, what dumb shit are we <laughs> doing this time? And it's not that, you know, like far fetched. It was just. Just, you know, it's just just that it was it's a weird vibe it i guess is. That he's like, separate from the movie just, yeah. but for all of the movie <laughs> and just how much they set up he has a traumatic brain injury before they set yeah. him loose it's yeah, so yeah, weird yeah, yeah. yeah a man with a brain injury escaped the hospital <laughs> went to an island shot a man <laughs> and yeah. brought people home like that is the yeah, story that's and his we're movie. we're making a big deal of the traumatic brain injury the movie forgets it the moment it comes out yeah. of somebody's mouth yeah. it's like you're but supposed we'll never to forget, forget yeah. that he has a traumatic brain injury um, it would have been better reveal at the end of this if it was just like it was all in his head, <laughs> all in Ray's head. Like he's he went to the island. The bed like still. I still think he did everything, but when he got to the island, like nobody was there, and he's just talking to himself. Oh, see, I thought you were going full like seen he's, elsewhere or whatever. Oh it's yeah, like, he's just looking at the snow globe. Like, and he's yeah, like, oh. yeah. Or it's just like it's just like he finally came out of a coma and yeah, he's cut in the, the end. Julie's just yeah. watching him behind yeah. plate glass. Yeah. Aww. I was going to say, like, didn't the one of the fi- uh, urban legends do that? But maybe not. It was a, mm. but it ended with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I liked, you know, like, oh, there's Jeffrey Coom- Combs. Um, it's like, hey, I recognize Jack Black's in it this time. Mm-hmm. So there's the, you know, the interest of seeing them in a movie. Um, but it's really like uh, uninspired, e- confusing. Confused. I don't get the motive, <laughs> uh, motivation of the killer, really. Oh, I get it, but it it doesn't like no. But like, why does he play with them? Like, yeah, he just I wants revenge know. and to kill them. We like, don't know anything so. about him. He just basically looks like Michael Myers. He has the same body language as Michael, like exact. Yeah, same body language of Michael Myers. A lot of posing in the background, stepping into frame, looking yep. menacing. It's a cool look, but I got that out of the first one. Didn't need to see more of it. Um, Urban Legends is when it jumped the shark. The second one. The first. I think first one that's when the genre jumped the shark and start commenting on itself kind of with well yeah and like those just like i felt like the 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 coat look of that guy looked a lot like the slicker guy in this movie you yeah, know? They're like trying like to go yeah. that like is when they're a, struggling yeah. to come up with a costume yeah. exactly. for your killer so that's it's just why like, i'm like that's when i jump the show. especially because yeah. they're trying to make it a whodunit like yes. you said and they're just yeah. like we gotta find a way to hide this person oh big yeah. fluffy coat i know but that that because that's i Cause guess that was what 2001 it's around the there, one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, first yeah. one? Somewhere. Maybe 1999. Yeah. But there's, I guess that's the thing with like these slasher movies that, you know, is part of the. 98. The, yeah. Oof. Yeah. Again, right there this in the cycle. Year, yeah. Well, part of the, the thing that you have to solve as, you know, making one of these is, yeah, I guess you have to come up with like, you know, because we've established it, right? There's the Michael Myers, there's the Freddy and, you know, uh, Jason. You got uh, a look, right? So, yeah, they came up with ghost face is a good one. You yep. know, uh, the rain slicker dude's a good one. Yeah. And then like, what else can we do with these? And it seems like in the 90s. Yeah, we had whatever the Cupid face from Valentine. Or something. Yeah. The, the fencing costume from Mergelin, too. Yeah, I, I like that. Um, the, the two recent ones I kind of liked was the, the baby face mask from uh, Happy Death yep. Day. Yep. That was good. And uh was a Scream Queens, the TV show, had the Red Devil, which was like That's a mascot cool. okay. for a, but that one looked kind of cool, you yeah. know? And I'm like, okay, they still, they're still, because you're like, what else could you do at right. this point yeah. to have like a cool looking slasher? Right, because you want to, you want to try and get <laughs> that tried everything. iconography, because, yeah. not, because that just means, you know, it lives on past, it means more money, but it, yeah. it lives on past this movie and everything. And they've everyone, done them all. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, yeah. When's the next, uh, Scream was the last one. I don't know. Are they going to mm-hmm. still make slasher movies? I mean, like, I don't know what else. Yeah, they are. Look how much movies. money they're making right now. Scream made a bajillion dollars. Yeah, but uh, where are the, like, Scream? Because I, I still see the ghost movies. They're still, yeah. like, you know, what's that? Uh, Talk yeah. to me looks uh, mm-hmm. kind of interesting. Yeah, and, looks good. Uh, I think demons are making it come back. Yeah, it's all so. demonic horror yeah. movies. Yeah. The Nun 2. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, uh, we're back into demons. Yeah. Um, I mean, that insidious kid is going to college now. That's how old <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, I know, yeah. Oh, yeah. insidious goes to college. Yeah, that's what, that's what the Red Door or whatever this one is. That's yeah, what it sorry. is. He's literally He's going so- to college, yeah. <laughs> Um, the red door goes to college. The yeah. red door goes to college. <laughs> the storm door. The red door is just a storm door. Yeah, there yeah. we go. 
Uh, I would not recommend. I still know what you did last time. I didn't get anything out yeah. of it. I, I guess don't think it was you recommended like, the first one either. Yeah. Really? No. I don't, okay. Yeah. Maybe not. I had problems I don't think with any it. Of you did. I mean, honestly, I, I think back I on it favorably. I I yeah, but maybe not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, I've talked long enough. You want it to rise mm-hmm. above, and it never does. Yeah. This one falls yes. below. Yeah. There I. You go. Yeah, I do really like the first one, and I. Do, I'm pretty sure I recommended it, but I definitely would recommend it now. Okay. I do like the first one. I do enjoy it. I love its time capsule. I love the cast. I love like the kind of simple storytelling, but big budget and big stars behind it. Like I enjoy that. But this movie, like, it's got a lot of problems and a lot of logistical things, as we talked about. Yep. But I, unfortunately, it's also boring. It's only an hour and 40 minutes, but it felt longer to me watching it tonight. And I mean, I grew up with this kind of being like a background movie. Like, I'd always seen parts of it, and it was always on TV and stuff. And you, everyone talked about the tanning bed scene, but like, tanning bed scene really isn't even that bad. Like, nothing no. happens to her. Like, it's scary for a minute, and then she's fine. Like, nothing's particularly horrible in this. Movie. No, not Sorry, really. It's like, ugh. I mean, I do love Jennifer Love Hewitt. I do really like her. And actually, like, seeing her in this movie tonight made me really notice how, like, natural and normal her face is compared to what people look like now, if that makes sense. Like, Mm. I feel like we've gotten so used to, like, the Instagram look with a lot of, like, Uh, injectables and surgeries and stuff. I was just about to say, don't go to her Instagram because she she doesn't look like Jennifer Love Hewitt She doesn't? That's a bummer. It is. Uh, Yeah. Because she has that perfect, like, girl next door sweetness that i love and i don't know like i don't feel like you don't we don't have stars like that anymore right like no. or they don't they don't focus on them yeah, or yeah. Them. right you, everyone has to be insanely hot all the time now yeah. and not that she isn't like, like but lucy, like she, everyone's gonna be lucy hale but like and it's not that, that she's not attractive but just she just looks like someone you would know does that make yeah. sense she's yeah. an attainable attractive yeah. i guess mm. right she's got that girl next yeah door exactly vibe. exactly yes. whereas like that and like those people don't lead movies anymore. Like Sean, you and I, and Holly and I were talking about off mic this week about let average looking people make music again, because like there's no like w- like Phil Collins and Huey Lewis oh, were the yeah, examples yeah, we, we were talking about. Like, yeah, musicians used to look like shit. They lo- used to look like your <laughs> dad's friend fucking, or yeah, like yeah. a local mechanic. Like yeah, they would the look man. like the mi- yeah, and they don't anymore. Everyone has to be like hot and young all the time. They don't let middle aged average looking people make music anymore. <laughs> um, but they kind of don't let them in them. movies anymore. Yeah. But uh, I, I do love her, and I liked her in Party of Five. I think she's a really good crier, like a good movie crier, and so is Nev Campbell. So mm-hmm. in Party of Five, when either one of them would get going crying, it was always really sad. But <laughs> they were both great in that, and I do love her, but she's not enough to pull this movie together. Freddie Prinze Jr.'s movie is pretty funny that he's in, <laughs> if you just watch it in a vacuum. Like, but this guy's insane. I, I was just too bored by it this time, and it, I can't recommend it. I was just bored with it, and the Jack Black stuff is just cringy and not good and not funny. It's not funny. Seriously, don't do that. Yeah, and I don't need this. I don't need this. <laughs> type of character in this movie at all i don't need this kind of comedic relief in this movie at all i don't know what he's doing i have someone to Get kill the besides the main yep. character yeah. you're running time yep. yep. but that doesn't mean he has to be like a comedian no he can <laughs> just be like a normal person i don't know i i would not recommend it i'm gonna pass on it damn but recommend i think hollywood, original i think I hollywood would also pass on it as yeah. well but yeah all right i'll be the sole i was thinking keeper there were, of there this were, flame there were times in this movie where you know i was like I was trying to figure out what she was thinking, her character, you know, Brandy's mm. in the room and she looks all dour and depressed and she goes over to the you know bureau or whatever. And I'm like, I don't know what she's thinking other than she looks depressed. Yeah. What is she thinking about right now? I don't know. In this scene, you know, I had a lot of that. Yeah. It was like, I don't know what. She just doesn't there. work. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, okay. Uh, uh, we're saying skip. Yep. I You're saying skip. Yep. All right. Uh, that's right. Well, I guess uh, the the you don't have to watch it because we didn't all the, yeah no yeah. consensus. So, but you still can. <laughs> it, is, it has not been put in our vault. Uh, That's true. Of no it's access. In limbo, huh? Yeah. Well, there's yeah. no contract has been signed by yeah. listening to the show. All right, next week we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. What we going to watch next week? We're going to take a really weird departure. Oh, I know no. we watch a lot of horror movies and stuff, but no, we also no. do kind of action movies, or cult comedy. movies, and romantic comedies. So uh, this year, erotic Jennifer um, Lopez movies. Uh, it, this is year is going to go down in, in history because oh. uh, Dodge is discontinuing the Challenger. Oh no. Uh, Car. So we're going to watch the Challenger's greatest uh, film performance, and that is a movie called Vanishing Point, which inspired oh. uh, Death Proof. Huh. So okay. there you go. I've never seen uh, this, so. That's no. right. Good All luck right. finding it, because it's not available on streaming or anything. It's like <laughs> erased from time. Really? <laughs> so huh. don't watch the uh, the remake with Viggo Mortensen. We're going back to the, no problem. <laughs> the old one. Vanishing All right. Point. All right. All that's right. next week on Looking Saturday Night Freak Show. 
And uh, we hope you join us. And until then, the basement is going dark.